In this video I'm going to be fixing a rotten wood on my window frame. Most popular method is using bondo but today I want to use my favorite wood filler. Fixing a rotten wood with a wood filler is easy, you don't really need to be a contractor or a handyman, you can just DIY it. As you can see my wood got soft and mushy from being exposed to water. I think water is coming from the side of the molding where it was missing caulk. After I'm done fixing the rod I'll caulk around the frame to stop the water entrance otherwise it will happen again. First step, I remove all the rotten area using painter's tool and scraper. That was very easy. It was coming off effortlessly. Second step was to cut the area where it hasn't rotted yet but moist and lost its integrity. This is going to be my cut line. I use my multi tool to cut into the healthy wood. There are products you can use to dry out the moist wood but I just choose to cut it out. I was left with this big gap but at least nothing was rotting, all healthy wood. I have another video fixing a huge gap in wood molding, you can find that link right above here. Difference is that that was an interior molding. I love the result so much, today I decided to use the same product for the outside on the exterior molding. Third step is to fill the extra space, in my case I used the polyurethane foam. I used the screw to provide wood filler to something to hold down to. Fourth step is to apply the filler. This is both for interior and exterior. It has a good consistency, easy to work with, so I like this filler. When you're applying, press the stuff in to get it into the cavities. This step is a process, so take your time. Please don't forget to hit the like button for this video if you find it helpful. This is the first coat, no need to worry about the looks yet. I let it dry for 24 hours, but it wasn't dry, it was still soft. I applied a thick coat and the weather was very humid. I poke some holes to help the drying process and let it dry for another 24 hours. Very ugly looking, but it will certainly improve. Holes will help second coat to adhere better. After waiting for 48 hours, it was completely dry. I applied my second coat, hoping it to be the last coat because it takes too long to dry in the humid. I try to give its final shape as good as possible to make the sanding process easier. I let it dry for another 24 hours. I used an eye protection and a mask during sanding. It turned out I needed another coat. I have a ridge here and also some dents around here. This time I only waited for a few hours since I applied the thin coat. Now I'm gonna do my final sanding.
this is final it looks good couple of little imperfections but the whole molding is old so it kind of blends in for the last step I put a coat of primer I had kills close by but it was a little thick and also because I used a brush I was left with brush marks but that's not an issue when I paint the molding I will give it a light sand I think it looks good you can't tell there was a huge cut here I still have to fill up the gap on the side with caulk which is causing the rot actually so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye